rules of powers or indices. Okay, I've got all the all the rules written out here. Let's just do a few examples of each one. If I have uh, any number to the power of another number times by another number that has the same base number, in this case three, powers don't have to be the same, then I can just add the powers. So three to the power of four times three to the power of five is three to the power of four plus five, which is nine. When I'm dividing powers, so I've got uh, let's try something else. 4 to the power of 6 divided by 4 to the power of 4. Then I can subtract the indices. 4 to the power of 6 divided by 4 to the power of 4 is 4 to the power of 6 minus 4, which is 2. Now that could be written in a fraction like this 6 to the 4 over 4 to the 4. That would still be the same because this line means divide. And that would also give us 4 to the power of 2. When I'm doing a power of a power, so if I have 7 to the power of 2 and that's all to the power of 5 then that means I've got 7 to the power of 2 times 7 to the power of 2 times 7 to the power of 2 times 7 to the power of 2 it's repeated 5 times so using this rule up here that would be 7 to the power of 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is 10 but uh, the quick way of doing that is just to times the 2 and the 5 um, special case, anything to the power of 0, doesn't matter what it is, it could be 0 0.724 to the power of 0, it's 1. And that's always the case, doesn't matter what the number is, it could be a negative number or anything. And then we've got um, fractional powers, a to the half. Now that's just the same as the square root of a. So a to the half is the square root of a, so if I had 9 to the half, that would be the square root of 9, which is 3. If I was doing a different power, so I was doing 64 to the power of a third, that would be the cube root of 64, which is 4. Because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And then the, the trickiest one, the negative powers, um, all you really need to remember here is the negative power means 1 over the normal power. So if I've got uh, 3 to the power of minus 5, that's 1 over 3 to the power of 5. Okay, so that's reminding you what the rules do. I'm going to just go through some examples of that now and uh, show what they mean. Okay, here we've got a load of questions. Let's just run through all these. I'm not really going to explain here, I'm just going to do, you can watch, I'll talk as quickly as I can over the top of them. So 4 to the power of 4 times by 5 is 4 plus 4 which is 5. 6 to the power of 2 times 6 to the power of 4 is 6 to the power of 2 plus 4 which is 6 to the power of 6. It's going to be 5 to the power of 3 plus 7 which is five, uh, 3 to the power of 3 5 plus 7 which is 3 to the power of 12. 5 to the power of 5 plus 6, which is 5 to the power of 11. When I'm dividing, I'm subtracting the powers, so I've got 8 to the power of 4 to the power of 8 minus 5, which is 4 to the power of 3. Subtract these powers, we get 7 to the 3. Subtract these powers, we get 9 to 3, and 5 to the 5 minus 3 is 2. Powers of powers, we multiply these powers, so 4 power of 3 times 2 which is 4 to the power of 6 uh, 5 to the power of 3 times 3 which is 9 4 to the power of 3 times 4 which is 12 and 3 to the power of 4 times 2 which is 8 um, fractional powers so a power of a half is the square root square root of 144 is plus or minus 12 but we just use the number 12 the cube root of 8 what number times by itself is 8? Well, that's 2. And a cube root of 27, what number times by itself times by itself is 27? That is 3. Okay, the minus powers is just 1 over the normal power. Um, 2 cubed is 8, so if I wanted to simplify that, it would be 1 over 8. Uh, 3 to the power of a half, minus a half is 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 9. 
5 to the power of minus 1 is 1 over 5 to the power of 1, which is just 5. And 4 to the minus 2 is 1 over 4 squared, which is 16. OK, so there are all the individual rules. Let's just do a couple of examples of some slightly trickier versions where we're mixing them together. So let's try and look at this one. 16 to the power of minus a half. OK, so that's mixing this rule and this rule. So the fractional powers and the negative tend to deal with the negative first because it's just 1 over 16 to the power of a half and 16 to the power of a half is the square root of 16 the square root of 16 is 4 technically plus or minus 4 but we'll just go with 4 ok let's just do another one 9 to the power of 3 over 2 now this is a fractional but it's also something times a fractional so if I separate it out because uh, 3 over 2 is 3 lots of a half so I do 9 to the power of a half and I do that cubed so that's the same as doing 9 to the power of 3 lots of a half which is 3 over 2 9 to the half is 3 because square root of 9 is 3 and 3 cubed is 27 and a really tricky one to finish with let's have a go at 16 over 25 to the power of minus 3 over 2 so similar to what we've just done, but we've got a fraction and a negative power there. The negative power normally means 1 over the number that you're trying to find the power of, but uh, because it's a fraction, we uh, just turn the fraction upside down, because that's the same as doing 1 divided by the fraction. It's the reciprocal of the fraction, and that just turns it upside down. So that's the, those two are the same thing. So we get the negative power just turns the fraction upside down. Now we need to do the 3 over 2, so we need to split it up. Um, this time I'm going to write it as a square root 25 of 16 to the power of 3 because the power of a half means square root and then due to the power of 3 the square root of 25 of 16 well square root of 25 is 5, square root of 16 is 4 and that's cubed so we've got 5 cubed which is 125 over 4 cubed which is 64 there we go